Russia's attacks on civilians in Kharkiv push U.S. to allow strikes at Russia. American General. Russia's attacks on civilian targets, and in particular Russia's deadly attack on the epicenter home improvement hypermarket in Kharkiv, are pushing the United States to lower standards for the use of U.S. supplied weapons against targets in Russia. Former U.S. Army Europe Commander General Mark Hurtling said this in an interview with CNN. Hurtling said, while commenting on the Russian attack on the epicenter hypermarket, that in view of Russia's attacks on civilians, we are probably going to see a lowering of the standards for using that military equipment on specific Russian targets. Hurtling said that there is much discussion within the Biden administration about whether Ukraine should use US-delivered weapons to strike Russian territory. He also noted that there were strong political and military reasons not to in particular by allowing Ukraine to use US-supplied weapons against targets in Russia, the US must be prepared to respond to a strong campaign by Russian leader Putin, who will actively claim that the US is attacking Russia with the alleged use of their proxy forces of Ukraine. Earlier, it was reported that US House Speaker Mike Johnson believed that the United States should allow Ukraine to wage war in the way they see fit, commenting on Kyiv's request to allow it to use American weapons to strike Russian territory. The US House of Representatives Intelligence Committee released an appeal from a group of congressmen from both parties to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, calling for a faster delivery of weapons to Ukraine and allowing Ukraine to attack targets in Russia. President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed in an interview with Reuters that Ukraine is in talks with international partners about the possibility of striking targets in Russia with their weapons. Attacks against the Russian city of Belgorod and settlements in Belgorod Oblast on May 25 damaged multiple buildings, vehicles, and a gas supply line, Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov claimed. Reports of aerial attacks against Belgorod Oblast, which borders Ukraine's Sumy, Kharkiv, and Luhansk Oblasts, have become a common occurrence in recent months. Russian air defense units shot down 29 targets over the course of the day, Gladkov reported. According to him, four people died and 12 were injured as a result of the strikes of the Ukrainian army. As a result of the strikes, dry grass in a large area around the city, fire broke out in 13 private houses in the city, six cars were damaged, a residential building, a bathhouse and several buildings were partially destroyed. According to Gladkov, attacks against the city of Belgorod caused severe damage to two apartment buildings and shattered windows in 10 others. He also said that the attacks damaged two schools, three commercial properties, and several cars. In the village of Dubov in Belgorod Oblast, a direct hit to a townhouse caused a fire that spread to two neighboring townhouses, Gladkov claimed. He also said that attacks in the village of Shebakino damaged multiple apartment buildings and a local gas line. Emergency workers are at the site working to restore the gas supply line, he said. Пойти, смотри, как, 